Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. Time for a little bit of an update here. We are expecting more rain, especially Saturday, Saturday night, and again Monday, with moderate impact, uh, locally high impact, but moderate impact overall. The Pacific jet stream. A lot of talk about atmospheric rivers. This is what the Pacific jet stream looked like yesterday, January 10th and continues to look this way and it's been the culprit for the onslaught of storms into California extending west to east all the way from the western Pacific along about 35 north latitude. This points the storms and the atmospheric rivers directly into California. Here are the key points. Pacific storms, atmospheric rivers will continue through the 16th of January. Two main storms we're looking at for Southern California. There's a threat for flooding and rock slides, especially because of the saturated grounds and additional rainfall. Some of the heavier rain um, will occur late Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, it'll be windy along the coast and waters, strong winds for mountains and desert slopes with gusts over 60 miles per hour for the mountains, 30, 35 for the coast. We're looking at widespread rain of one to two inches, especially when you combine the two storms. Flooding is possible due to the brief heavy rainfall rates and the saturated ground. Uh, the storm is mild, uh, so initially snow levels high again, but then coming down Saturday night and again Monday night. Uh, and also keep in mind continued elevated high surf for our beaches. Here's a look at the rainfall totals January 9th and 10th, the most recent storm. Take a look at your area and compare it to these automated rain gauges. The mountain areas, quite significant. Highest total was 9.6 in Lytle Creek. Elsewhere, most of the urban areas in Orange County, one to two inches, much less though in Riverside and San Diego, under a half inch. There's a view of a map showing the same thing where you can see the dry areas, relatively speak, in blue, and the wetter areas in the green and yellow shaded really heavy rain up in Santa Barbara area shown here from the recent storm. Across all of California shown here the white is greater than 20 inches. Parts of the Sierra Nevada around 30 inches of rain so far and some of our coastal areas getting up around 20 to 25. In Southern California you can see the mountains are in the red that means we have received anywhere between 5 and 10 inches of rain in the past 30 days, some locations in the San Gabriels and San Bernardinos have the purple shade uh, 10 to 15 inches. Urban areas, well it looks like most of the urban areas have had significant rain for late December through early January with 3 to 5 inches. Something else to look at is the snowpack across California. It's been remarkable on a record pace. Even more than 1982-83, the record snow year, snowpack is massive, two times as much compared to average for this time of year, some areas two and a half times, including the high elevations of the San Bernardino Mountains as shown here. Where can I find local storm report information? National Weather Service reports out on impacts, anything from flooding to wind damage to extreme heat or fog. This information is all collected into storm data and can be found here as shown on this link. The next series of atmospheric rivers. This is how it's shaping up. Big broad atmospheric river going into Northern California. So more rain central Northern California. Staying north of us for the time being. By Saturday, atmospheric river number one, a different one. Right on its heels, atmospheric river number two comes in on Monday. After that, we could catch a break into next week, at least for Southern California, meaning a drying trend. Number one and two are going to come in like this. It looks like Saturday night will be the number one, and then sometime on Monday into Monday evening for number two. This is what they look like in the forecast projections. So the maps here are focused on 
Saturday night shown atmospheric river orange shaded pointed into Southern California. Fast forward to Monday on the 16th during the morning hours you can see another atmospheric river. There's some differences in timing how fast will it come in how fast will it clear out unsure of that right now quite sure of another round of rain as it looks into Monday January 16th. Here's the forecast total for the next several days across California, almost a repeat of what we've seen the past two weeks. Across Southern California, this is a storm total for the weekend into Monday. Most areas expected to get one to two inches of rain. If you look at it piece by piece, the first storm starting Saturday afternoon from north to south peaks out around Saturday night time frame during the dark. Most areas will receive a half inch to just over an inch of rain with higher amounts in the foothills. The next round right on its heels looks like it's coming in sometime on Monday. Could be early Monday morning or could wait to the afternoon on Monday. Nonetheless, uh, Atmospheric River 2 expected to deliver significant rainfall again on saturated grounds. Wind speeds will continue to be a problem in addition to the high surf on the beaches. This is a look at the wind speeds expected for this weekend starting up on Saturday. Keep that in mind if traveling these high winds in the mountain passes combined with the developing rain Saturday afternoon. The weather pattern that will develop that rain on Saturday and bring us another shot on Monday looks like this. Pretty consolidated jet stream across the Pacific taking another dip across central Southern California. The system on Monday looks a little bit weaker, less opportunity to tap into deep moisture, but it still does. Um, and it's a little bit more of a split system coming through, so a little weaker at this time. The outlook still calling for significant precipitation potential after these storms, at least for central Northern California. Then, potential for a break, it looks like, for the latter half of January. With below average or near dry conditions for most of California, potentially as we go later in the month, January 19th through 25. Check weather.gov for the latest alerts, which are watches and warnings. You can monitor the rain, you can monitor the wind on the link shown here. Stay safe.